Well, Christian, a point away from home, which could have been three, but it looks a little bit better given that Torquay have lost. Yeah, I think we, um, we're very disappointed. Um, that's not how we want to represent ourselves or Woking. Um, we, were, we, were, we were lucky to get a point. We were well below, below par, going at it across the pitch. and We need to regroup and go again next week, but today wasn't good enough. I was going to say, did you think it was a fair result, notwithstanding the fact that we didn't score the penalty? Because personally, I think it was a fair result and would have been very unfair on them had, we not, had they not got a point. I, I, I think we're playing the game, um, we've nicked a point. Yeah. That's, that's how it's felt. We were just second best all over the park. Myself in the middle of the pitch, didn't get close to anyone all day. And we just didn't, we didn't have a standard about us that's got us to the position that we're in. So we're, um, yeah, disappointed. Is that a, a, some sort of uh, reaction or hangover or anything like that? Because I think, in all honesty, a lot of people expected there to be one after the Watford game when we played Welling, and there wasn't. Uh, that was t- a tremendous performance, and, and maybe this is the hangover today. Oh, well, if you dissect things, um, Welling's second half wasn't, wasn't good. Mm. Um, we got, just got across the line, but obviously we were fatigued over the Christmas period. We've had a week off, we've freshened things up. There's no excuses, really. We should have been able to, especially in the second half, come out and, and really impose ourselves. But sometimes things don't click. It's a, it's a long season and, and you get games like this where everything you do is just you're just half a yard off it and it just doesn't go for you. We've we done well to withstand the pressure that they put in because they had a lot of set pieces and we, we caused a lot of unnecessary fouls. So they peppered our box a bit. But we'll have to take the point and just... We can be disappointed today, but tomorrow we have to... We have to get our heads around it and, and go again. Sure, yeah. I mean, at the end, I, mean, I completely agree with everything you're saying, of course. But at the end of the day, it's still a point away from home. Yeah, definitely. And they're, they're a good team. They moved the ball really well today, and and their striker imposed himself really well against our back four. So they gave us problems. They asked us questions, and, and we didn't have the answers today. Fairly, fairly bright start by us, but then they scored first. Well, yeah, how did that it. goal come about? Well, again, personally, that was that was an error on my part. I had an opportunity to clear it and I, I got my feet muddled. And you make a mistake in the box like that and, and you get punished for it. So it's one of them. You go out on the pitch and you're going to make mistakes every week and, and you're going to do things well. But today, we just made more mistakes and we, we did well. But uh, despite the fact they scored first, a very quick riposte with a fairly decent goal from Jack Cook. Yeah, I think you'd have been I mean, proud of that one, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. I think... Um, Cookie and Amani today are shining lights, I think, in a, in a, in a bad side. Um, and he stepped up again for us, Cookie. That's two and two. He's obviously scored at Welling as well. So, no, nah, he's, he's been brilliant and he's, uh, he's, he's really come a long way. His consistency has gone up tenfold. And uh, how, how are you feeling yourself after your long period out with injury? You've played a lot of games. You've played a lot of 90 minutes. Yeah, no, I'm just pleased to be out on the pitch, obviously. It's nice now because I'm not thinking about about my body as such I'm thinking about my performance so it's nice to be disappointed about that performance opposed to yeah. whether your body can hang in there so now on a personal note it, it, it's pleasing that my body's my body's feeling strong but I need to get my performance back to where it needs to be otherwise I won't be good enough to play and uh, for me if there was a specific criticism I'd make we gave the ball away an awful lot today didn't we or- yeah that's it I think um, they had their distances really down to a tee um, we didn't really because of the hill here we tried getting in behind and it was running out constantly so we had to be a bit cuter and, and try and play the ball in and out of, of their back four and middle middle five-ish and we just we were just neither here nor there so like I said to you these games come around every once in a while and we just have to get on with it and move on yeah I was going to ask about the slope actually it's a pretty big slope here isn't it it is it, it plays a, a real big factor and we played into their hands obviously they're aware of it and, and their knowledge of it and it, and I mean they hit a lot of balls off the park today as well so yeah it's a difficult thing but we just didn't factor it and it's the, the only ground similar really that we've been to so far was Wealdstone, which of course is a slope, and we didn't do all that well there either. There we go. So that was a long time ago, wasn't it? So, I mean, if we have a blip like this every three months, <laughs> then I think we'll be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. Absolutely. And uh, how's how's this last week gone? As you say, there was a, you had a bit of a rest, a bit of time off after. Uh, Welling. Yeah, how's we, been training been this week? Yeah, training's been brilliant. It's been bright. Um, the boys that rested needed a rest and they had a rest and, and then Thursday we were we were at it we were sharp we were ready we were preparing for for today 
but just didn't click on the day. Okay, never mind. Thanks very much for your time uh, this afternoon, and uh, we'll go again next time, obviously. Thank you.